Today, we're going to do a mail merge in Microsoft Word for Windows. Before we begin in Microsoft Word, let's take a look at your spreadsheet. You will want to make sure that your data is arranged in columns like this. You must have headers or titles in the first row to label each column. Now, in Microsoft Word, open a blank document in Word by clicking File and then New. In some versions, you click on the Office icon in the top left corner and click the New button. This should open a new window where you can double-click on the option for Blank Document or click Create. Click on the tab for Mailings, then click on Start Mail Merge and choose Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. On the right side, there should be a new panel for Mail Merge. In the Select Document Type section, choose Labels. Then, at the bottom of that panel, click on Next Starting Document. Choose the option for Change Document Layout and then click on Label Options. In the Label Options window, make sure that the printer information is set to Page Printers, the tray is set to Default Tray, and the Label Vendors is set to Avery US Letter. Then, in the Product Number list, scroll to find your product number. The products will be organized by the first digit of the product number. Click to highlight your product number, then click OK. If your product isn't listed, you can use our free Avery Design and Print Online software instead at avery.com templates. The grid lines for your template should now appear. If you don't see any grid lines, look at the top of the page for Table Tools, choose the Layout tab, and click View Grid Lines. Then, Click back on the Mailings tab. Click on Next Select Recipients at the bottom to go to the next step. Choose the option for Use an Existing List and then click on Browse to find your spreadsheet. Click on it and click Open. This will open a new window for Select Table. Keep Sheet 1 selected unless your information is on a different sheet in the data file. Then keep the option for First Row of Data Contains Column Headers selected and then click OK. Now a window for mail merge recipients will appear. Scroll through the list to make sure that all of the information that you need appears. If there are any rows that you don't need, you can uncheck the box next to it so that it does not appear on your labels. If the data doesn't appear to be organized correctly, then you may want to go back to your original spreadsheet to double check it. When everything appears to be in order, click OK. You might have noticed that there is now text for next record in every label except the first one. Don't worry, this is just there as a placeholder and shouldn't appear once we're finished with the mail merge. To proceed to the next step, click on Next, Arrange Your Labels at the bottom. In the next step, click on More Items and the window for Insert Merge Field will open. Make sure that the option for Database Fields is selected so that your column titles from the first row of your spreadsheet appear in the list. Click on each field that you would like to include and then click on the Insert button. Once you have inserted all of your fields, you can close this window. You will see on your first label that all of these fields have been inserted right next to each other and that each one has brackets around it. To format your labels, click in between each field and add spaces or commas or press Enter on your keyboard to move them to the next line. Be sure the brackets stay with the correct field name. When you're done, click on Update All Labels to apply this change to the entire document. Now at the bottom of the panel, click on Next Preview Your Labels. This preview shows you how the labels will appear before the final print. If there are any adjustments you need to make, you can go back by clicking on Previous Arrange Your Labels or you can make changes to individual labels right on the document. If the text looks correct, then you're ready to click on Next, Complete the Merge. On the final step, click on Edit Individual Labels. Then, in the Merge to New Document window, make sure that the option to merge all of the records is selected and click OK. Be sure to save your document in case you want to make changes or print it again. And that's it! You should now have a complete set of labels with all your contacts. If you need help designing your labels in Microsoft Word, watch the video on working with text and images in Word.